I decided to start the episode with some cool jazz today. Cool jazz music. You like jazz? I do like jazz. Uh, I would hope so. It is your character. I am. I am As we are both man. characters. We have, yeah. character, we have character traits, character tropes. Arnett Studio is just an anime, you know? Yeah, it, it's basically just... I, I mean, it is a, a studio, but at the same time, it's just two guys being dudes. It is an anime. We are an anime. We are the protagonists. Who are the antagonists? Or the antagonists, one of the two. The antagonists are the people who don't like this video. <laughs> oh, God of the ass. <laughs> what episode is this? Is this 95? I think so. I think it's 95. Well, if it is, welcome to episode 95, gamers. It's Anuki. I have Zek. And welcome to Education Station. Man. I've been doing this damn COD edit, Zek. <laughs> I've been doing these COD edits. Oh, look, I thought you quit. I know, I thought I did too. But here I am, Zach. It's okay. What's wrong with me, Zach? Why am I doing? Why why am I doing this to myself? I don't know. I, I, I ask myself that question every day. Why is I'm too nice of a person? Maybe I'm too nice of a person. I can't say no. But I've turned down many people. But then I say yes to other people. Yeah, I feel like a cock. But it's tough because I don't do like commission edits anymore. So. What do you want me to do, you know? I mean, it's hard because the new COD came out, and then, you know, that, that new little spark of inspiration just was like, Meh. and then yeah. you're like, oh, you know what, maybe I should try editing to this new COD, and, <laughs> and then people are like, hey, yo, can you make an edit for me? And you're like, I got you, homie. And then it just snowballed from there, I'm sure. Yeah, well, it's only one. I'm only going to do one edit for this new COD. Um, I said I would. I promised a friend that I would do one. That's my buddy example. We'll probably do one more. Maybe I don't know. We need like the perfect edit for it because he and I are on the same boat. Where we're like, Ugh, you know what I mean. Yeah. So that edit would be probably fine. Um, so that would be the perfect. Edit. We already think we decided on that edit, but I don't know. That's some inside scoop for anybody else who cares. Um, and then uh, do another edit that won't be MW2. It would just be probably multi cut I would assume. So that would be kind of a just a chill one, hopefully, ideally. But I'm excited. Do some K-pop. Yeah, it'd be a K-pop. It'd be fun. Maybe, perhaps. That's supposed to be a secret, but that's okay. Oh fuck. That's all right. It's all good. Everyone knew. Um, but yeah, that's fun. Otherwise, ugh, I don't fucking no. I mean, I don't know. It's interesting looking at it from the perspective of like you've been editing for so long, and then you're like, I'm. I'm I'm closing <laughs> I'm closing After Effects and you know I'm not gonna be doing that. And I'm opening DaVinci Resolve. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a hard cut. That was weird. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a beat pack, right? So you're meant to loop it, and in this one specifically, it just it hard cuts anyways. Rude. Uh. Well, you're not supposed to use it as background music, so I wouldn't call it rude. Yeah, that's fair. But like a three minute back. Anyways. Well, you cut you. <laughs> If you're I, if yeah, you're I, a I, rapper, I Zach, you're trying to be the next little Zach, and you want some beats, Zach. <laughs> Big lanky. You want some. <laughs> <laughs> and you want some beats, Zach. And you want and throw three minutes of it is nice. <laughs> it is kind of funny because um, one of the guys that I met at the bar that I do karaoke at, um, he was like, "Hey, I have like twenty thousand beats. Do you want them? Twenty thousand beats." <laughs> and I'm like. Uh, what a pickup line. <laughs> so apparently today he's gonna give me this SD card that's full of it's beats. Just just beats. Are they copyright free? I think so. Can we use them? I can ask. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> I would that would actually be so fun. That would be fun. Finally we get original music. That'd be cool. And we can shout them out, yeah. of course, you know, do what we do what we need to. Hopefully not pay royalties, that'd be a bit much, but that would be a bit much. I don't think he's used them for anything, so I think we're we're solid. I mean, I've always wanted to make beats, but music production has not been something I've stepped into yet, although I love music and I love audio engineering. You know, I feel like I could do it if I needed yeah. to, but it's an art form making beats. Like, you can hate hip-hop all you want, but the hip-hop beats are always... They're nice. They are really well-constructed. The... 
there's like two sides of it. There are the ones that are super well constructed, very intricately designed, and just super captivating and awesome. And then there are the ones that are just like, and then it's just like, okay. Excuse me? So you just diss all of 90s hip hop, Zach? Fuck you, Zach. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. So all of Boom Bap, you don't like, but you don't like some Tupac, Biggie. No, I wasn't saying that. Doom. I'm saying yeah, the people are. the people who are recreating like who are just using the same beats that they've been using for the last 30 years. Like the people who started it. Like I have absolutely no problem with that like Biggie, Tupac, like all of those guys. Like that's Really? That's an entirely different thing. Not a lot of people do that. I know Joey Badass around maybe not anymore, but like a few years ago he would use a lot of old boom bap. But not a lot of people do that. And oftentimes, if you're smart, you would get a beat maker or uh, a producer, I suppose. Sorry if I just call you a beat maker. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's a derogatory term. I, like <laughs> I think I'd prefer to be called a producer as well. <laughs> <laughs> a boom bopper. Hey, Nuki, you keyframe editor. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you keyframer. You keyframe copy paster. Yeah. Fuck you, man. <laughs> that shit's hard. <laughs> um, but mm, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I I did not mean. I I noticed that you immediately got like on the defense, and I completely get that I worded that really shittily. Um, I mean, so even like for today's rappers, see, here's a, here's how I as an old man Nuki who still likes today's rap. Still, I, it hasn't bugged me yet. There's some that are absolute garbage. I understand that. Um, However, you know, I'll listen to the modern stuff. The thing that kind of what I've turned it into is because I although I listen to the modern stuff, I'm still in the same argument that it all sounds the same. Yeah. Um, but I don't mind that because, it's, I mean, if that's what you're after, it's what you're after. And that's right. what I that's what I associate it with. Background music, kind of, in a way. And at this point. What I listen to hip hop or just, I guess pop in a way but it's it's just usually just gonna be hip-hop in this scenario um i kind of just consider it instrumental and i consider the the rapper to be among the instruments that are used right because it's usually the same they're i mean they usually all sound generally the same they have auto-tune on and they're talking about the same things so hip-hop ends up kind of just being uh i don't know kind of being workout music it's 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 backing music when i'm streaming or when i'm doing cleaning or some laundry or some shit you know yeah um it's it's work music like when we're at work that's what i choose for ox you know it, that's what it's kind of turned into for the better or for worse um here the, here and there there is some there is some that are would be nice to listen to but i mean unless it's because generally um i don't know how much this has changed since since i've listened to hip-hop growing up as my kid um there, Back in <laughs> there were like for example there'd be albums that are just kind of fun kind of like uh um just fun to listen to um i, I don't want to say hype that's not really the right word but we'll use that term for now and then there were albums that were oh gosh the name is escaping me um i don't want to say lyrical but that's what they are um, concept albums, I believe, is what we called, where oh, okay. they they're telling a story, right? Albums like Logic's Under Pressure or 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 Kendrick Lamar's To Pimp a Butterfly or something like that, right? Yeah, where they're telling a story. It's more lyrical. It's more of a, um, it, or, uh, it, I don't know what I'm, a story. I don't. I, they're, 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 <laughs> that's what that's what it is. There's a story behind it. There's this message, and that's what it is. And then. The other side is kind of the hype ones where they're fun instrumentals, just basic lyri- lyricism to just get you going. And it's a fun time. And you put it on and you'll hit bop and you're in the car, you know, and you're having a time. Yeah. And those are kind of the two differentiating type of types of hip hop music. Right. To my understanding. Has, has it changed? I'm not sure. Um, to me, in my mind, I, I think it's still just the same idea where sometimes you make songs about getting money and fucking bitches and other times you make songs about your life. Right. Yeah. I mean it it does get a little bit hard and like I my uh my hip hop consumption like the the time frame in which I I listened to like all of my hip hop and rap and all of that kind of stuff stopped in like 2013. Mm-hmm. 
So like everything before, you know, like 2013, 2014, that's, that's like most of the hip hop that I listen to. And then whatever comes on randomly, like on the mm-hmm. radio or something like that. Um, and a lot of the stuff that I hear on the radio, and I mean, any music that's played on the radio is just overplayed. It's gonna, like, yeah, it's going to be the generic. It's, so it's that's not fair, but yeah. Yeah, it's like the generic cash grab type, like, you know. Mm-hmm. But you know what it is, Zach? It's brain dead music you listen to when it's 6 a.m. and you're driving to work. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> you just need some sort of minute distraction, Zach. You can choose two things. You can choose a podcast slash radio talk show or four chords. Pick. <laughs> yeah. Or you can listen to this show on, on Spotify and on YouTube. There you go. <laughs> Always you be plugging. You can pick your poison. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I mean... As someone who has a library and is usually at this point listening to a lot of you know any songs and stuff, I take I take that route, especially K-pop too, because I'm getting into it. It is new, you know. But in general, like you can think, I mean, when I if I if I were to say J-pop, for example, it's still four chords as well. So it's still and it's a song that I've listened to like re- repeatedly. Mm-hmm. So in a sense, I'm doing the same thing just in a different language. <laughs> it's, yeah, I mean. Yeah, that's fair. You know, uh, it's just kind of <laughs> slightly semi-brain dead music that I've already listened to, so it's just gonna exist while I'm commuting, right? So I don't have to think too much. Yeah, I yeah, I mean, it's kind of similar to like having a a, sh- a reruns of shows that you've watched mm-hmm. before going in the background while you're doing whatever. Mm-hmm. It's kind Can't of say like, no to friends. Yeah, George Lopez, it's on. How I Met Your Mother, great show. Okay, great show. Oh man, you know what? Uh, so last weekend I was babysitting. Um, they spend the night here too, so I couldn't do shit. But it's okay. It's all good. It was fun, I guess. Um, and I, for the first time in God knows how long, on my own TV, I've done it every now and then on other, like whenever I babysit at their house or something. We're at my house this time. And I mean. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, other than basketball and football, I was like, you know what? Let's, I mean, let's put on something for the kids, I guess. So, I, I went on to Nickelodeon. God, oh man, good old if you have cable, good old seven forty channel seven forty. Oh man, and they were just doing SpongeBob reruns. Oh shit, just like back to back to. There was nothing else. Like every time I put it on, it was SpongeBob. I don't know if there was a it was a coincidental specific SpongeBob rerun weekend type bullshit, or Nick just literally has no good shows anymore. And I'm like, fuck it, put SpongeBob. Which, to be fair, that's what I would do too. <laughs> but it was going on, and it was new shows, it was old shows. Um, they played both the movies back to back, and I was like, that's cool. Have you seen the second movie? I have. They get like superpowers or some shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, that was the first time I watched it. Bro. I was super confused. Okay, <laughs> when so I went to go see this movie in, in the theaters? theater. Oh, man. How was that? For the meme. Um, it felt like I was tripping on acid. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was quite the, it was quite the movie. Yeah. I don't even remember it. I felt like it just kind of didn't happen. Yeah, it, it was super bizarre. And like... So... Oh, no, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. You're, you're, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> So, you know, I, it was for the meme and it was really funny because the theater was full of like grown adults and teenagers. And I Mm -hmm. was a a teenager at the time when it came out and, uh, God, dude, that was so funny. Like it, it straight up felt like I was tripping on psychedelics. Yeah. It was the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. And I walked out of the theater. I can't even remember who I went with. Like that entire day is just like a blur in my mind. Mm Mm-hmm. I remember walking out of the theater and distinctly having a conversation like, wow, did I just get out of like a two hour long acid trip or like what just happened? Yeah. So what was the pre- the premise was they went out of the went, water they, oh, for some reason. <laughs> well, that was what's the movies called, Zach, right? Out of the out of the water. Fish out of water. Fish out of water. I think. Yeah. Right. The premise was okay. There was there was a lot of SpongeBob being watched. So bear with me if I got one of the episodes. <laughs> The premise was the Krabby Patty circuit formula. I can't believe I said those words out of my mouth in 2023 as a 22-year-old. 
That is so weird. The Krabby Patty secret formula. Plankton goes to steal it, right? Classic SpongeBob maneuver. Classic. But then something happens and it just disappears, right? Like it like it magically disappears or something like that. I actually missed this part. But it's it goes missing and then Mr. Krabs freaks out. Well, he well he goes in afterwards because it's SpongeBob and Pla- Plankton. He goes in. It's like, what happened to this? What happened to me? Formula, you know. And then Plankton is like, it just disappears. Like, yeah, right. That's some bullshit. And then SpongeBob said, no, Plankton's actually right this time. It actually just kind of disappeared in thin air. And then SpongeBob defends him. SpongeBob and Plankton team up, and they go on some weird fucking time travel trip bullshit to to some some quantum realm event event Avengers Endgame type bullshit to try and get the 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 secret formula and apparently there's a real life pirate and they go out of water and then they get superpowers i don't know it's fucking crazy (laughs) no but the weirdest thing is like the whole point of the movie is that they get superpowers right i think like that was like the whole marketing thing if i remember correctly in the trailers and like they go into 3d land and they have 3d models and they get superpowers and shit and we're like two hours in like fuck where's the superpowers and and then the kid on baby seems like the entire time they're gonna get superpowers in this movie i'm like okay cool 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 that sounds interesting and they never get superpowers and we're like two hours in I'm like where the fuck are the superpowers and then they get superpowers and i'm like god damn so they just ex machina the end yeah like fuck jesus that took forever i thought the whole point was the the whole point was like spongebob like in the in the in the movie like uh cover art or whatever or the dvd or whatever that you want to call it he just has he they're in the superpower mode like spongebob is all buff and shit mm-hmm. and he has the blue headgear thingy the blue bandana thing yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. that was the point why did it take so long <laughs> what was going on bro now that i think about it if you really want to go there go conspiracy theory mode Avengers Endgame ripped off the SpongeBob. SquarePants they did. Movie. I was getting there because I, as soon as I said it, I think you may have, you may have seen the cogs turning. <laughs> I'm like, they ripped off, or, or, or they did some Avengers Endgame bullshit. Wait a minute, they did it before Endgame. Wait a minute, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> well, I guess if you if you want to go even more meta, SpongeBob ripped off Back to the Future. So I don't know how far you wanted to keep playing this game. I mean. Technically, technically, why you <laughs> te- technically speaking, uh, animated it first. <laughs> uh, Avengers Endgame ripped off SpongeBob, and SpongeBob ripped off Hot Tub Time Machine, and then Hot Tub oh, Time Machine right. ripped off Back to the Future. You were right. Can we just talk about? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Now that we're Hot talking Time Machine, no. Oh, okay. Um, that was a good movie. It was a good movie. Um, <laughs> No, but do you remember Atlantis Square Pantis? Oh my goodness, I do. Wait, was that a movie? It was like a... Wait, what was... No, that was like a, a long episode, right? Or was it a multi-episode thing? I don't remember. Was it, it a long episode? I remember what it is. I think it was like a special or something like that. What the fuck was it? I remember exactly how... That's so weird. <laughs> I remember exactly how it went. Okay? To a T. They get this. They get this trip or some opportunity. Mr. Krabs, SpongeBob, and Gang, and Sandy, or whatever. They get this opportunity, and they go into this submarine. They go into the submarine into this basically this dome that or kind of a dome that kind of looks like Sandy's thing, but not really. But it's Atlantis, and they go in Atlantis, and then Patrick breaks something or something like that, and then they they turn into criminals and they have to escape. Do you, the bubble? The yeah, bubble. the bubble. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the bubble. Dude, what the fuck? I got the, I I think that was a mult no I think that was just a long episode, so it may as well have been been a movie without movie production. I will say though the original SpongeBob movie, the first one that played, still just as good. David Hasselhoff. David Hasselhoff. Who are you? I'm David Hasselhoff. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love I love the the part where to shoot him back down into the ocean, he puts them in between their his oh, pecs yeah. and then just like. now that is creativity zach come on who thinks of that i would never think of that god dude kids movies are kind of fucking weird (laughs) they are kind of fucking weird (laughs) but i love them they were so good they're now that we're men (laughs) i changed my underwear that was so good i i was watching that movie while we were babysitting it was so much it was it's still good 
it's still, still good. Yeah. And honestly, the production is like really nice. The animation is really good. It's a movie that holds up. It's not jank in any way. Not like Spy Kids. Not like Spy Kids. Yeah, exactly. This show was jank, man. Bro, do you remember? And the protagonist, George Lopez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was uh, George Lopez was the antagonist in um, Shark Boy and oh, Lava Girl. Oh, you're right. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> I mix up the two trash movies that were basically the same thing. Um, God, dude, fucking Spy Kids. It's really, it's really, really funny because the the actor who plays Juni Cortez, uh, he was in a Halloween movie, and I watched a video about that movie, and a Halloween movie. Yeah. Okay. Like the horror movie franchise. Oh. Ooh. Scary movie? Yeah. Well. 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 Hmm. And so I was watching, I think it was like a kill count or something like that. And mm-hmm. every time that character was on screen, he was like, so Junie, like referring to his Spy Kids character. <laughs> um. But yeah, that's super funny. Anyway, dude, fucking... Kids movies are so weird. Like, if you think about the premise of a lot of these movies, like Spy Kids 3D, for example. Dude, that shit was so jank. Like, they got tele- they got sent into a game mm-hmm. to, 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 like, defeat the game maker. Wait, hold on. It's been a while, so remind me again. They were trapped in there, right? So, what was the sister's name? I don't remember any of the names. <laughs> Fuck. Um. Anyways, the sister was got kidnapped and trapped in the game. Okay. And so, do bromance had to go into the game. Okay. No, keep going, keep going. And then, uh, through some really <laughs> shitty CGI and all of that kind of stuff, then he finds out that he's... The guy, the guy who's supposed to save the video game world and all of this kind of stuff. And then um, their grandpa, who was in a wheelchair, gets into a suit and he walks away and he chases a butterfly. I don't know what the fuck happens with that guy. And then they end up finding the fucking uh, game guy. And then they're like, hey, stop what you're doing. And then they don't even fight him. And they're just like... That's bad. <laughs> and apparently, I thought they fought. I thought so. I don't. I mean, I don't remember. Oh, oh. I would never mind. There was a fight hang on, hang on, oh, hang on. Okay, okay. <laughs> Wait, no. There was the um the big ass <laughs> robot thing. <laughs> right? They went outside they of went the game. They went outside of the game. Wait, Zach. This is Sword Art Online. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> it's my kid's store, Sword Art Online. I knew it. Dude, Spy Kids came out in like 2000, I don't know, a long time ago. Spy Kids was the original Isekai. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Whoa. So, uh, I thought Sword Art Online was. Well, I guess Mishuko Tensei was, but as an anime mainstream fan franchise, I guess Sword Art Online was. And uh, no, 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 child. <laughs> Spy, oh, Kids. You're Spy Kids. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's so funny. <laughs> don't so, you like die, or quote unquote, die in real life if you died? It was, you don't. You didn't die. That's not what they said. But every time you did die in the game, it was super tragic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, it was really funny because there was this cute chick that main pro tag guy was fighting, uh-huh. and he was like, after she died, he was like, I didn't even get her email. <laughs> 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 but anyway, so so to uh, to flesh out the synopsis, basically they go outside of the game. It's a big uh-huh. robot fight thing. You could Dang. only see the robots if you put on it's these re- special yeah, glasses. Three D glasses, and so. That was a huge part of the premise. And then <laughs> the oh my god, I remember only the reason why I remember this. This is the only reason why this is an unlocked memory is because recently or semi recently, Corridor Digital did a VFX uh VFX artist reacts and they've watched Spy Kids, this specific fight, and it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> so watching it back is so weird because I was like, damn, I rewatched this shit like 20 times. There, there was no way it was this ass. <laughs> oh, it was. 
And, and, and like the the uh, there's just the whole gimmick of 3D where it's like the hands like and then gears go like <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> but you know um, what? It was cool. I don't care. In 2000 yeah. like five or whatever the fuck it was cool i don't care so yeah basically we find out that the the guy who made the game ended up doing something and made it so that the grandpa do bro man was in mm-hmm. a wheelchair mm-hmm. and then after Lore. they were <laughs> Lore. and then after they uh defeated all the robots and stuff the the grandpa do bro man went into the the, they, robot, into the robot yeah and uh Ended up talking to the guy, and <laughs> out of uh, no violence, no nothing, he was just like, I concede. And then he just fucking got out of the robot, and then happy ending, woo! Still have no idea what the fuck just happened. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was... You know, the only takeaway I have from Spy Kids is that it's 2023... And we don't have a McDonald's card that we can put into the microwave and then set a timer and then open it and a McDonald's order comes out. That was in the first Spy Kids movie. I think so. I'm just saying Spy Kids as a whole. Oh, And yeah. that's the only thing I took from it. Yeah. It's 2023 and we don't have magical food cards. That we insert into a microwave or a device, and it transforms into food. I mean, just imagine how processed that food would have to be. I don't care, Zach. It's cool. You're like, convenience. Conven- exactly. You know, there, there are two things that I took away from that movie, or that series of movies. The McDonald's thing, because mm-hmm. I did remember that. Yeah. And it was sponsored by McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Um and also, I realized that my le- my life will never be even remotely as cool <laughs> as these fucking eight-year-olds who are running around fucking fighting bosses and shit. Fighting skeletons. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> and doing, like, Transformer pod races and robot fights. Oh, I remember. I do remember that fight with that chick. Oh my god. Oh, that's so bizarre. I need us. St- we need to stop talking about this. Or I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, do you want to just make the entire episode about like kids' movies and shit? Because there's so many. I don't even. <clears throat> you know. See, growing. <clears throat> oh god, my throat. So, grow- th- growing up, I didn't watch a lot of movies. I think I've said this before. Yeah. My family and I didn't watch a lot of movies, so I'm not really a cultured American who indulges into film um, and knows films and knows actors and actresses. You know, oh, you know that one movie with this actor's uh, Steve, St- Steve, 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 jo- Steve, jo- Steve, Steve, <laughs> Steve, 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 and 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 Charlotte, Charlington. I'm like, what the fuck are these people? I don't know. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know these people. Um but so so because of that, even like kitchen I only the only movies I watched were if they were <laughs> they were probably Disney three six five movies and Nick movies. Do you remember Disney original movies? Yeah, yeah, which was well I think they turned into Disney three six five. Because Disney 365 yeah. was their movies. I, I think, right? I'm pretty sure. That motherfucker hit the splits with the trampoline. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> when that motherfucker hit the splits, uh, you knew it was going to be a banger movie. You know, High School Musical was going down. Bro, High School Musical is the only reason. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Hold on. I, I need to show you this video. There's this video. Oh, God. I wish I could find it. There was this video of Camp Rock. You remember Camp Rock? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> there was this tweet that blew up like last week. Uh, it was like, there was no way Camp Rock is real. Hold on, I gotta find it. It's so funny. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> this is like the mid 2000s, like electronic music. This shit was so funny. Uh, oh god, please let me find it. It's not that long ago. Please. That it's is so, so funny. funny. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Hold on. 
I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna show you it. But if you want to find the tweet, it's just Camp Rock can't be real, and you'll find it. It is just. It, oh shit! Why did I take? A, oops. It's gonna try to accident. It's. We we need to have no evidence of this course. No evidence. Right it's so funny. Like what the oh, fuck God. am I listening to? It's like. We put it to the next to the mic so you can hear. It. Wait, no, no, go back. You missed the fun part. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh! She's really good. <laughs> <laughs> She's really good. You see that shit, Zach? You see, you see, you, listen, listen, Zach, you don't know this. <laughs> <laughs> take wait, this back. Take wait, it there's back. There's more. No way. There's more. It's a whole thread. Look at this motherfucker go down. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get destroyed. Hold on. Don't get too close. <laughs> Look at him, bro. Look at the dance moves. What the? They're not even using the mics. <laughs> oh my god. This. What is going on? Hey, that hey that that mic was pretty cool though. The mics aren't even plugged in, Arthur. So it's fine. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Look at this. Check me out. Check me out. Cool. Check me Check me out. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? I can't even remember. I watched all. I think it was like three of them, right? I swear to God, yeah, there was like three, I don't know, two dude, or three of them. I watched every single one. I don't remember anything. I don't remember anything. All I remember is one of the Jonas Brothers and and Demi Lovato died. No, <laughs> <laughs> she fucking she died. Fucking died. No. <laughs> all I remember is this is real. This is me. I'm exactly how I'm supposed to be now. Let the oh light my God. shine on me. Now I know who I am. Copyright. There's no way I'm caving in. No more hiding who I used to be. Zach, we already got destroyed when we put the microphone. When we put this the speaker right on the microphone. Uh, let's see. Now that right there, Zach, is a beat maker. <laughs> 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 that ain't no producer. That's a beat maker, and she's proud of that. She calls herself a beat maker, <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, she's like, doo, 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 doo. check me out. Check, check me out. <laughs> check me out. <laughs> Dude, so I find it so funny how she was like, "I'm gonna give myself a concussion," and then, and then this, she was like, doo, 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 doo. "Dude, she really went." <laughs> And everyone's like, she's really good. <laughs> oh my god, there's no way Camp Rock was real. <laughs> I I genuinely don't remember anything about it. I watched all of them. I I also remember watching every single one of them, and every single one of them is equally as unhinged. <laughs> Check me out. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I'm sorry, that's so funny. I'm gonna quote that so much. <laughs> Check me out. <laughs> She's really good. <laughs> She's really good. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, the fuck I'm losing it. <laughs> I'm crying, bro. <laughs> bro, the fucking the facial expressions make it like even better. She's really good. She's really good. <laughs> <laughs> you do that so well. <laughs> It's just, it's just <laughs> mid two thousands, just white child voice acting. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, child actors never grow up. Please, Please rest in the head canon state of mid two thousands, <laughs> bro. The mid two thousands were just like. So I mentioned it before, High School Musical. I haven't watched it again in a while. Um, Vanessa Hudgens was, of course, my childhood crush. But who didn't have a crush on Vanessa? Hudgens? I know she was great. And oh man, I think High School Musical. I again, I watched it so many times, but I don't really remember it. But I, I do remember it more than Camp Rock. I remember the gym sequences. I remember 
the baseball. The op- yeah, the baseball. I remember the opening sequence, the like the first scene when they're at karaoke. Yeah. Um, and then I remember, oh man, I remember was it the baseball? Was that the same thing when he was on the field and he was like, bet on it, bet on it. Yep, 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 yep. That's what it was, right? Wait, was that what it was? Or was that the basketball one? I don't even know. But I remember the baseball. Like I remember the field thing. And I remember him sneaking into or, or like like throwing a rock or something at their window and then singing to her on the tree and shit. Man, that was peak romance, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Bro. Uh... Nothing, nothing makes me happier than a, than a guy who breaks out into a flash mob. God damn. I need a man like that. <laughs> I don't dance. I know I you can't. <laughs> Not a chance. No! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, that was the baseball scene. Was that the baseball one? Yeah. What am I thinking of? Oh that might have been one of the basketball that ones. That might have been. That's probably the basketball ones. Oh, fuck. How did it go again? Oh, my God. There was like a... Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm trying to... I'm trying... I'm digging so hard, Zach. I'm trying to remember how that one went. It was a basketball... I remember there was a slow... There was a. There was like a slogan and everything. Oh, Fuck. Oh, gotta get your head in the game. Gotta, gotta get your head oh in my the game. god. <laughs> okay, okay. You so, gotta get your head in the game, Zach. I know. You're tripping. Okay, so, so. When guys. I'm on the free throw line, gotta get your head in the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We've broken him. That's, that's so funny. <laughs> okay, so, I just, for, for the people who have not either seen High School Musical or seen the memes surrounding High School Musical, Basically, the entire premise, the entire premise, the entire premise of the first movie is there's this basket player that meets this basket player. B- basketballer who meets a girl, falls in love, huh, and then he's like, I want to do musical theater, but he can't do musical theater because he's a basketball player. <laughs> And so basically they have to figure out a way for him to be able to live both lives. And his dad is the basketball coach and he's like, you got to be a a good basketball player. And he's like, I want to be in drama. (laughs) I don't want to be in football, dad. I want to be in theater. (laughs) That's the entire premise. (laughs) I forgot that was the premise. He's living a double life. That's so funny. Bro. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm I this is <laughs> Arthur, we've been talking about kids' movies for 40 minutes. She's really good. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I saw that on my timeline, I lost my shit. It's so funny. I was I, I was like, the, the camp rock cannot be real. There's no way it was real. What are some good ones then? I mean, high school musical, honestly, I would think it's good. You know what's a good one? Hmm. <clears throat> Let it shine. Did you watch that one? Yes, that one was the rapper one. Yeah, and the like the or the rapper gospel one with a predominantly black cast. That was really good. I to this day I think it's a good movie. To this day, I remember every I watched it so many times, bro. I, that I remember exactly how it went from the start to the finish to this day, and I remember every song. Do you remember the movie that was based off of? The the Disney villains kids. Ooh, the Disney villains kids. No, I don't think so. Actually, oh, it's a it's a. Is it old? Yeah, it's a really? fucking. It's an acid trip. <laughs> Every two thousands kids show us or kids movie is an acid trip. Oh my gosh, dude! Do, what was it called? I don't even remember. I feel like I I, I don't know. I don't rec- I don't recall. Was it Disney or Nick? Disney. Disney. That would make sense. No, but Let It Shine was cool because it was rap and it was rap battles, but they didn't curse and there was a romance and it wasn't cringe. At the time. No, I don't think it's cringe. Don't run away. Don't run away from... That might be cringe, but that was just like honestly just 2000s or 2010, like 2010 just kid R&B type shit. Wasn't that bad. Oh my god, dude. You just reminded me of something that I never wanted to remember ever again. Are you going to say what I think you're going to say? I think you know what I'm going to say. One, two, three. Kids pop. <laughs> Kids pop. <Yep. laughs> Was it not a hat? 
It was good. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, remember Radio Disney? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> bro! That yeah, was we like, listened to my tunes. <laughs> that was like Kirkland brand kids pop. Oh my god, it was so great. <laughs> they were singing covers, right? Or were they all? No, they're all originals, right? Disney, Disney, Radio Disney, right? I'm pretty sure they're all co- um, our original the, music. I would assume yeah. so. They couldn't do covers. That'd be crazy. That'd be preposterous. Bro, thinking about... Are they still doing Kids Bop? Do you think there's a Kids Bop version of WAP? There is a kids version of WAP. There's a kids version of WAP? I think what so. What do they say? What is in the... Mu- no, I don't want to know what's in the music video. Never mind. <clears throat> What do they say, Zach? You know the clean version of <coughs> WAP? So, <clears throat> for those who aren't aware of WAP, um, if you're not aware, you're probably too young. You should click off this video. Um, they for they those... probably should have done that, like, a while ago. <laughs> no, that's not true. They need to learn They need to learn how great the 2000s was <laughs> when they were just children. <laughs> the, um... <clears throat> uh, yeah, you could... Uh, if you don't know WAP, don't worry about it. Um, well, I'm about to say it anyway. So in the chorus, what do they say, Zach? What as pussy. Yes, exactly. Need a muck it in a bop, uh, mop for this wet ass pussy. And you know what the clean version is? Oh, God. Is wet and gushy. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> That's worse. Is that better? <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> I when I heard that, I was like, no way this is the clean wet and gushy. You could have said like sweat and 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 tushy. Tushy? Yeah, they see, there you go. Sweaty tushy. That's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. I wonder if that's what the kids bot version does. You think so? Oh god. Sweaty, sweat okay. and tushy? The, uh, I don't think bro. we should look it up. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, you know what? Look at the lyrics. Don't look up the video. But look okay, up the lyrics. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, yeah. yeah just you do, keep, go ahead and do keep, that. Yeah. I do have something to say about the WAP music video. The only thing I remember from the WAP music video was not the shaking ass, Zach. Was not the intricate um like the snakes and shit. It was not that, Zach. Were there snakes? I can't remember. But it was not the it was not the ass, and it was not the the the, the animals and shit, Zach. What I remember from what I remember from the music video is at the very opening sequence, you clip through a statue. You clip through a CG statue, and that bothered me, Zach. And that bothered me because this is a multi million dollar music video, and the CG three D guy who did a great motion track and a great. St- Three CG environment, the camera phases right through the statue of this bad bitch. And that makes me upset. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Uh bring it over and let's do a let's do a live reading, Zach. Let's do it, let's do a table reading, Zach. Can you can you switch cameras? Alright. Nope. Can you oh. yeah, there you go. So scroll up, scroll up. No, 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 no. There's <laughs> 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 there's some doors in this house zach did you know that there's some doors in this house there's some doors, doors in, in this house. house there's some doors okay <clears throat> i said certified beat seven days a week water bottle make that pull out game week wait they said pull out game they said pull out game maybe they maybe under the water bottle Maybe with the context, it wasn't that bad. They did say pull that game. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're drinking up some water bottle. <laughs> why, is it, why is it capitalized like that? You're drinking up some water bottles. <laughs> You're Bring drink- a bucket and a mop for that water bottle. Cause it, or c- cause it fell right on the floor. Look at water bottles. If you hurt me, I'll press a charge, extra large, but I ain't hard. Put this bottle right in your face, on your nose, like a water bottle. Drink that what? Oh, I want some what? They said so. A W A T, not W A P. That's oh my incredible. God. That is incredible. Okay, Zach, your turn. Go to the next verse. Drink this bottle like I'm surprised. 
that's water. I wear a disguise. Mm -hmm. I want you to give me all that water. I know that you'll, you've got a. When they say water, I know that you've got it, right? Yeah. Like whipped cream, I'm a scream. Out in public, it's a scene. I don't cook. Mm. I don't clean. Uh. Let me tell you, uh. I got this blade. Uh. Hollow it, it, swallow, swallow it, it, drip, drip down, down the, the side, side of it. it. Oh. It's a water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're... To clarify, it's a water bottle. <laughs> this is not okay. Is this real? No, this has to be fake. I don't know. This has no scroll up. No, we need I need this. I refuse to believe this is real. Because if this is real, then I'm very concerned. Okay, hold up. It has to be fake. There's hold no up. way. Lyrics what by kids bop. It can't be real. Is it real? It can't. Uh, how, how can you verify this? I guess we actually have to buy kids bop. No, I think. <laughs> so I vote we mute desktop audio. No. <laughs> Just go go on a journey. You know what? Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. Kids bop wop. Kids bop wop. M turn, turn off desktop audio. Everybody, we can. Okay. Full song. Okay. No, it can't be real. No. No. Okay. Do it. Go ahead. Do it. We're going to get an ad anyways. So go ahead. Okay. Oh wait! I just realized they can't hear it. So it's they fine. can't hear it. It's okay. It's okay. Um, there's no. I can't. This is different. Give Give me some audio, Zach. Give Give them audio. Eleven days a week. Wings and pizza. Stuff that crust with extra cheese. Wait, this is better. Wait, what? This is a lot better. Wait, turn. Okay, yeah, turn it off. Wait, wait. Pause. 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 Oh wait, no, I wanna hear what he I wanna hear what he said. Hold on. Hold on. Go back, go back, turn back a bit, and then give us audio. Yeah, we feasting on the wings and pizza. I'm so hungry, I can't stop. Bring that wings and pizza. Give me <laughs> it's wings and pizza! They're geniuses! Zach, I I retract my statement. Zach, I broke my mic clip. Oh no. I'm holding it down. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to just like unclip it and just handheld it? All I'm the gonna way? handhold it. All right, wings and pizza, Zach. That's <laughs> brilliant. That is brilliant. Why is this one so much different than the other one? I think the other one is fake. Is that is this real? I'm facing also wings and pizza. Hold up, hold. There's some friend. Is there? Okay. Okay, There's pause no way real this quick. Is... So, <clears throat> you don't have it playing, but... Yeah, I know. Wait, did you have the audio? No. Okay, so we're listening to a different version. And they're saying there's some friends in this house. So, I think they're... <clears throat> Excuse me, God, my throat. I think what's happening, Zach, is that there isn't a real version. The, there's just a lot of versions, like fan-made versions. By there's kids. There's some doors in this house. There's some doors. I, you know... Wait, what did the other one? What did the other kids say? There's some. Um, oh, sorry. There's some food in this house. Is that what they said? I don't know. Wings and pizza. That's so. I like that, Zach. What is W A T? That's not even an acronym. That's just a. a that's just water. But like, remove the E R. It's not. A, it's not an abbreviation for anything. <clears throat> you know. It's not even. Bottle. It's not even clever. I mean, W A T, W A P. I get it, right? But what? But WAP, wings and pizza. Wings and pizza, that's perfect. <laughs> so to everybody who's listening who didn't know what WAP meant, it actually means wings and pizza for all intents and purposes. Yes. And if anybody ever asks me, I'm going to tell them wings and pizza. <laughs> Zach, you, uh, you want some WAP? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm, I'm crying. What a, what, a, what a dime. <laughs> What a time to be alive, Zach. <laughs> Arthur, dude, this this is like the most. This is the most cursed episode. <laughs> this is the worst episode. Before the other episodes were really bad, purely for the fact that we were losing track, losing steam, losing time, and we're having a hard time keeping the episode going. This one is just a bad episode, Zach, <laughs> because it's just it's it's just so wild. Bro. It, 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 this quiz, we're talking about kids shows as an acid trip, but this show itself, this episode itself right now is one big acid trip that you and I are facing right now. <laughs> it's kids bop wop. Wings and pizza. What, what? a time.
What a place. <laughs> what a place. <laughs> what a place. Water. Water. Bottle. Yeah. Water bottle. <laughs> Why is that? They, they have a capitalized as if you're supposed to. It's like there's emphasis, right? <laughs> Water bottle. Bring a Arthur, why don't you just and a, un- and a- unclip the thing so you can move the mic stand and then just handhold it. So you don't just have this sad tripod. Do you know why, Zach? Why? It's because this isn't making a lot of noise when I unclip it. These holders. It's not hooked to the thing. No, like the mic isn't hooked to it, so it wouldn't do the vibrating thing. What are you going to do? So you want me to remove the cable? No, no, no. What I'm saying is, is that the only time that it makes a shit ton of noise is if the mic is on the mic stand. Yeah. The mic is no longer on the mic stand. Right. So. so I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't care. I don't want. This is fine, Zach. <clears throat> water bottle. Water bottle. This is fine, Zach. <laughs> Everything about this is fine, because water bottle. <laughs> Bring a mop in a bucket. For this water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. There's some doors in this house. I can't believe this is... <laughs> no, it... Is Who came up with fa- that? Who thought it was a good idea? Who was in the boardroom and said, yeah, let's get these kids to sing WAP? No, that's a crime! I'm so confused, Zach. I don't know what's going on anymore. But it's not a crime because it's, it's wings and pizza. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore, Zach. Is this what it feels like to be on a shrooms? Like, you no. know, like, you, 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 like, there's a right and the wrong, but you're not really sure? Like, I don't know because what's real anymore. I don't know what's real anymore. Technically, the right is wrong, but the wrong is right. I don't know. You know what? Anyways. So I was babysitting, right? <laughs> no, I think I think we need to sync with the ship, dude. Like we've already talked about no. this for a fucking hour, dog. You know, okay, okay. So then, okay. So let's defend kids movie for a bit. Disney movies, right? Devil's Advocate. Devil's Advocate, right? No, I mean, there's great Disney movies, you know. Yeah. Even back then, like Mulan, Pocahontas, you know, these movies that I guess you know maybe a symbolism for uh, sexism and racism these days, but um, I think they were great movies. Right, I think there are good, good, good movies to think about. Um, I know uh, there was this, um, there was this uh, uh, YouTube short. God forbid, right? Um, and I'm gonna take this off. I guess I can, I can do that. I can do that. Sick. So there was this YouTube short, right? Okay, bye. <laughs> God forbid, right? <clears throat> and I was watching YouTube shorts, and at this point, my YouTube shorts just con- cons- consist of comedians mm-hmm. because I found those are the best YouTube shorts. Uh, comedians, Nile Red, and. Uh, Movie props and memes. Uh, I, I kind of skip the memes. I think the memes are kind of cringe sometimes. Um, but that's about it. Usually my, my YouTube shorts are actually, they serve a purpose, interestingly enough. There's a comedic purpose. There's an educational purpose. Not that I retain any of that. But if I were to, ha- if I were to have to just say fuck it and sit here for an hour, I would at least like to think that I'm learning. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I'd like to trick myself. Um, so there is this, there, there, there's one that was like a fun, this is a Peter, Peter Pan one, um, where, um, they go to Neverland and there's like these Native Americans and they're like doing, and they're like, what the fuck? There's no way is, this is an okay movie. And I was like, damn, I guess, I mean, a lot of things have changed since back then, you know, a lot of things have changed. Yeah. But I mean, well, Peter Pan was still a good movie. Did you like Polar Express? I fucking love Polar okay, Express. Good. I loved it too. Bro, do, do you want to know who, who played the train conductor? Yeah, it's, it's Tom Hanks. Tim Hawks. Who would have thought? Crazy. He crashed an airplane into the river. Or into the into the into the into the ocean. Lake. One of those. He was a a, a toy. Daddy, in the story. I was running. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tom Hanks, a man of many many occupations. What a guy, bro! Oh my god, wasn't he in an action movie too? Saving Private Ryan. I think so. Yeah, was that the one with the really shit fight scene? No. Oh, okay, that was the one where they were in like a war. Oh, you're right. You're right. I haven't seen a lot of war movies. 
Although I saw, oh speaking God. of shorts, I saw some shorts of Hacksaw Ridge, and those are pretty cool. Oh. Which is about, have you seen Hacksaw Ridge? I... Do you know about it? I know about it, yeah. Yeah, it's about this medic, so it's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. Um, but anyways, kids' movies, right? <laughs> Bro, okay. So... Have you seen any... Oh, wait, no, go ahead. Sorry. You're going. You're going. The kids' movies that came out, like, when we were kids, as mm-hmm. opposed to kids' movies that are coming out now, mm-hmm. it's like, there's no competition. Like, there's nothing that competes to the peak shit show that was early 2000s kids' movies. Mm-hmm. Like... Oh my god, dude. That was so f- fucking funny. And like the more yeah. I think about it, the more or like the more examples that I come up with, the more that my point stands where it's like all of these were bad, but they were so good, you know? Yeah. I think it's just the just the fact that it's just they're made with kids in mind. So it's like it doesn't really matter if it's good. It just right. needs to appeal to the brain um of the kids and and, and it needs to activate some sort of lesson. Right. That's all it needs to do. And as long as it can do that, then it doesn't really matter how bad it was. What was the lesson in Spy Kids? Family. Family. There's nothing more important than family. (laughs) Vin Diesel, if he was in Spy Kids. (laughs) (laughs) I guess that was it. Uh, Yeah, I mean... Shit, I don't fucking know. (laughs) The kids are spies. Kids are spies. Spy Kids. (laughs) Um, video games are not as cool as you you think they are, or they're way cooler depending or on who way you cooler. ask. I don't know, but it turned into a death game. Yeah, but it was pretty dope. It was pretty dope. Like the fucking the the uh the the car racing scene. That was pretty cool. That was very cool. And it, that was yeah. Oh, I remember they had like they had like lives on their chest, right? And there would be numbers. Yeah, it, <laughs> it would like project, it would project, and they would count down. Remember that one like slick ass kid in the silver who died, and it just he got like, like electrocuted or some shit, right? <laughs> Didn't he get electrocuted? And then all of his lives went, and then he was like, uh oh, and then he fucking died, and then he got Thanos snapped out of existence. Wow. Wait, dude, they did Tony Stark before Tony Stark was Tony Stark. Shit. Spy Kids was the the original Bible then. Shit. Huh. Well, in the cinematic universe. In the cinematic Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if there was really a lesson, honestly. <laughs> but you know what I will say? So Spy Kids. 3D. 3D. 3D or not 3D. Smack and Skeletons. Um, GTA races and, and, and Power Ranger fights. Tiny dinosaurs. Tiny dinosaurs. I will say... I never, when I watched those, I thought they were cool, but I never wanted to join a video game world myself after watching it. And then I watched Sword on Online, <laughs> and I said, now this is what we're talking about. <laughs> now I want to get into a video game world. So Sword on Online did it better. Did, because, I don't know. Was there, because uh, in music, in, 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 oh, remember Lemonheads? Did you watch that one? Yes. I think that one was about rock. I think. It was some kids. Yeah. They were in detention because they were delinquents. And then they were troublemakers. And they were they were just in the detention room alone. And naturally, when you're in the detention room alone, you start drumming and you start singing. And, you know, as you do in the detention room. Right. So then they start a rock band of some sort based around this lemon soda drink or whatever. I'm sorry. I just can't. I can't get over the fact that your mic has not stopped moving since you put it in your hand. You're sorry. Like, I know this is poor mic technique, but I, I'm holding a mic from like a comedian, you know. So I guess they do this and then they hold it all the way down here. So listen, y'all. Right. No. Yeah. It's cool. You know what movie that made me think of? Mm-hmm. School of Rock. Ooh, the school of rock, Jack Black. Bro, okay, so an interesting tidbit. Sure. So, you know the song Immigrant Song by Led Zeppelin? Sure. Um, mm-hmm. So, Led Zeppelin was notorious 
for not letting people use their songs in movies. Mm -hmm. And so what Jack Black decided to do was to go and record a video in front of like 2,000 people on a stage Mm -hmm. and be like, hey, Led Zeppelin, we need your song for this movie, dog. (laughs) And then they let them fucking do it. That's pretty cool. (laughs) And I mean, you know, we... We make jokes about like kids' movies and everything like that, but like that was, was a S- good one. School of Rock, a kids' movie? Yeah. It was a movie in a school. Was it a kids' movie, though? I think it was just a good movie. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think it was like that was the demographic because it was on like kids' channels and shit. Really? I don't remember being on kids' channels. I just remember watching it, like on like Spike It or some shit like that. I don't know. I think so. That sounds right. Am I dumb? Sorry, I, I thought I heard you say no, 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 no. I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong. It's been so... I don't even remember the premise of School of Rock. Substitute teacher turns school uh, to rock band. That's what it was. Yeah. That was such a good movie. School but, of Rock. School of Rock. That but there movie. are no rocks. There is just rock. And roll. <laughs> Speaking of which, Boshi the Rock. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna stop, Zach. I'm not gonna stop. Um, have you seen any of the new Disney movies? Are like, you talking um, like, um, you know, like animated or not? Yeah. What was a recent? There was a recent one about um the Day of the Dead that was really popular. Oh, Coco. Coco, yeah. It was I've, that I've one. seen like sixty percent of that movie. Oh, like in the theater or just like it was on. It was on okay, at, uh, at my sister's house for my nephew. <laughs> in the theater, and you're like, 60%, this is good enough. Walk out. <laughs> yeah. I know the characters. I see that the plot is like, oh, wow. And mm-hmm. then I just kind of fucking. Um, have you, did you watch, um, what was the Hawaiian one? Moana. Moana. Did you watch that one? I've watched that movie so many okay. fucking times. I'm so sorry. many times. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I could tell you every single line in that movie. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) It's okay. It's okay. (laughs) Did you watch Let It Go? Like everybody else? Let It Go. Or Let It Go. (laughs) Frozen. (laughs) Frozen. Did you watch Frozen? I I what time is it right now? What I mean, what time is it? It's 1:40. So I've woke I woke up an hour and a half ago. <laughs> Have you seen Let It Go? I was like, <laughs> Have you seen Let It Go? I was like, what like the music of- video? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've seen Frozen and Frozen 2. I actually haven't. I I've avoided it. I remember back then when it came out it was unavoidable. Bro. It was in every every channel, not even just Disney. It was in every damn channel. It was every theater. It was every YouTube video. And I avoided so, it like the plague. So, mm-hmm. last day of school, I think this was like 2018. <sighs> Wait. No. S- school. Was it older than that? Was it middle school? Yeah. Really? I didn't think it was that old. I could be wrong. I, I don't know. I mean, I didn't watch it, so I don't know. I don't know the time frame. I, I didn't know. exist during it. Um, okay, Google. When did the first Frozen movie come out? Okay, Bixby. 2013. Oh, you're right. Huh. Was that really 2013? Wow. So. You can tell I, I really avoided it, it, its existence. <laughs> I think it was right before Christmas break or it was the last day of school. I don't mm-hmm. know. We decided to watch a movie and everyone was like, let's watch Frozen. And she was like, mm-hmm. I bet. And then uh, basically. Well, like in the class. In the class. Okay, yeah. got you. So. Oh, this had to have been like eighth grade or something. Yeah, we did watch movies, huh? Before winter break. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Wow, we didn't watch Frozen. Watch Elf. Like, like you know, like a good like a good teacher would. A good teacher Fuckers. would never let them let the, your kids watch Frozen. <laughs> Yeah, so I... Elf in the Grinch. (laughs) Dude, yeah, that was the first time I watched it, and I've watched it probably like 300 times since then because the two movies that my niece and nephew want to watch are Frozen and Moana. Wow. And it makes me want to die, but 
It's fine. It's, we're fine. See, this is why you take control and you say, now listen here, kids. I'm going to show you some peak fiction and you put on the SpongeBob movie. <laughs> Atlantis Square Pantis. Atlantis Square Pantis. Fuck it. Out of water. Fish out of water. Fuck it. Because it's better. <laughs> <laughs> they, break, they do break into the song. They did an homage to the original um, F is for friends who do stuff together. Did they, they, did a, they did one for team. Oh, wow. I think in the movie. I think. If I recall correctly. Again, I didn't really pay attention to the movie because what we were doing, actually, we were playing Minecraft. <laughs> you were playing Minecraft while watching the SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah, pants. so me and my cousin, my younger cousin, um, he likes Minecraft. Like, a lot. Who doesn't like Minecraft? Yeah, it's a timeless game, and it's the only game that I can still uh, relate to the youth. You know, relatable, relatable, right? Because the game that I still and and, and I actually enjoy, like I don't un- I don't ironically like it because the youth like it. I like I still enjoy playing Minecraft. And although we did the speed run, which by the way, at this point it, it hasn't been edited, but I'm I, I'm working on these cut edits, so I don't have time to do it. But I would like to because the I keep looking back in the VOD and it's so funny. Um, but um, it's other than that, the last time I played like it just a Minecraft world. Was with you. God knows how long ago. Oh God, was this the 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 server with the Tower of Fernai? No, that was your world. But we did another world. Oh, that was for the um the Minecraft at night. Yes. I wonder what happened to that world. I, I don't mean, know. I mean, I think it was a no. It wasn't a realms. I didn't pay for realms yet. It was a server. So now it's gone. Because I didn't right. I didn't back it up. But I mean, it's fine. Um, so yeah, it's been a while and, and me and my cousin, like he likes Minecraft. He likes playing creative and just doing shit, which by the way, I'm going to say this right now, get your kids to play Minecraft and let them fuck around. And then you can see if your kid's going to be an engineer when they grow up. Let them draw some dicks and then they'll figure it out. They'll draw some dicks and then, and then they'll put down some redstone. You know, okay. I have, I don't know if I mentioned, I mentioned how he did like a, a behavioral study in Minecraft with villagers. Yeah, you did. Dude, that was the craziest shit I ever witnessed. Where he, okay, for those who don't know, um, who didn't watch the episode, I, I think, yeah, I think I called it like Kids Are Smart or some shit like that, the episode. I don't know. So he did, he did, a, he was on a creative mode and he built up like a hundred blocks high and he made like this kind of like pitchfork type uh, array of blocks or not a pitchfork, just two, two prongs. Kind of like a tuning peg pork thing. Pork? Fork thing. So it was a one and then it splits off and it forks off and then there's two. Right? So imagine a fork, but it's missing the middle the middle sharpie pointy boy. And it's also a three pronged fork. <laughs> a trident. A trident. But it's missing the middle part. And on one side So it's si- a dent. <laughs> on on one side there is um safety, I guess. And the other side it's TN, it's a TNT sand pressure plate trap. Classic, right? Yeah. And uh, so those are the two paths. And then on the straight leading to the path, there's a villager and there's a zombie. And they're blocked right now. So what he did was he broke the blocks that were blocking them. And then he would see which which side the villager would go to. Safety or the TNT trap. And without fail, they'd always go to the TNT trap. And he was like, cool. And I was like, cool. And it seems harmless. And it is harmless. But what it is, is exploring just behavior. Exploring the mechanics of the game. Yeah. Like the code of the game, basically. And that's cool. That is cool, Zach. That is cool. You know? Even if it doesn't necessarily mean anything, it doesn't relate to like human, like in like real life behavior. Mm-hmm. It relates to a certain type of behavior, and I thought that was cool. So get your kids to play Minecraft. If they ever, and if, and if at some point they start touching redstone, get them in, get get them in, and get them in the STEM program, bro. Well, maybe not, because I touch redstone, I would never go to the STEM program. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, if they, yeah, red, you can do some crazy shit. With you can. Redstone. Well, okay, so here's the point I'm getting at. We started a Minecraft world, like a survival world, because we're we started like months ago. I mean, it's on mobile, po- fucking Pocket Edition, which, by the way, I didn't realize is actually pretty cool now. Have you tried have you played Pocket Edition lately? No, I haven't. So Pocket Edition is Bedrock, like uh, uh, Minecraft Bedrock. Do you know about Minecraft Bedrock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically just the normal Minecraft, but it's it's kind of tuned differently. 
But the functionality is different. Right. And it's more for like a mobile ver- mobile kind of mobile application version. But Minecraft Bedrock is what you play to is, is the same Minecraft Bedrock on Pocket Edition, on PlayStation, and on Xbox, as well as on the PC. You can play on PC. So it's it's cross platform. Right. It's that's very cool. So can you have a world with someone who's on their phone while you're on your computer? Yeah, that's what we were doing. Oh. I mean, we started on my phone, and then I found a way to port the world onto the, my computer. Because like, fuck this, I'm tired of playing on my phone. Um, so I busted out my laptop, and we were just playing. And he was on his iPad, and I was on my on my laptop. And we were just playing Minecraft. That's so fun. Right? And I've said this so many times, Zach. I've said it so many times that there needs to be more games that are cross-platform like this. Dude, I agree. I think one of the fun, the most fun things that I've done was when Modern Warfare was like first became cross platform. Yeah, and like meeting a bunch of guys who were like on Xbox, PlayStation, mm-hmm. PC, and then realizing that if there was only three people in the lobby that were on PC, those three people were probably going to end up top fragging because we're playing <laughs> at two hundred frames a second instead of like thirty. Well, that sucks to suck, Zach. Got him. <laughs> but yeah, it, it it whenever as soon as so Genshin Impact, Zach, a game that I I think I like, I'm not sure. Um, they were the first game, the first gotcha game, quote unquote, um, that I personally played that actually implemented this whole cloud saving, um, reten- like cloud retention saving type of game where I can play on my computer mm-hmm. and then I can log off and I can go on my phone and I can play it and I can log off and go on my iPad and play it and I can log off and I go on my Xbox and play it. Although I think Xbox and PlayStation were kind of bound. It's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, it was cool. Like that... N- it was never a thing for mobile gaming type of, for a mobile gaming type of vibe. Right. Um, usually, what would happen, especially in Gotcha, or even I think in other games too, but usually in Gotcha because that's what I played mostly, mm. is that you'd have to transfer the data from one device to the other. Mm. And that's always scary because what if something goes wrong? They even have a warning like something might go wrong. Like, what do you mean something might go wrong? Might go wrong. <laughs> you might lose all your shit. Yeah. So that that's 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 just not ideal. So, like, what if I want to play my rhythm games, Zach, on my phone and on my iPad? I have to have two different accounts. And that's no fun. Right. Well, to some people, it may be fun. But in, in general, for, for a game like that, where it's really grindy and you don't get a lot of rolls unless you pay a lot of money, I don't want to have two accounts. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of rough. But, yeah, we're playing Minecraft and it was a lot of fun. We beat the Ender Dragon. Um, the Ender Dragon kind of fucking sucked. Uh, for some reason, it was way harder than in the speed run. Um, but maybe, I don't know. I was just missing my shots. I don't know. Was it because you weren't doing bed strat? Oh, we were doing bed strat. But what was tough, actually, was getting the, the towers down. Because for some reason, the Ender Dragon was way more aggro. And you know how it spits that magic shit? Yeah, yeah. It yeah. does it way more often. I don't know if that was a coincidence or it was bedrock. But it did it so much. Like, you can, it was literally, and it would it would take forever to despawn. So it hit hit the ground. It would stay there. He would do it again. Hit the ground and stay there. And then the entire middle section was just the magic. So you couldn't even get close. That's some shit. And then he would put it wherever on the towers. So if you were towering up, you would you couldn't go any higher because it was stuck on the mat. And it would just wouldn't go away for like five minutes, five ten minutes. And and after a while, we just it sat there and took forever. And we finally beat it. And I was like, fuck this game. I didn't say that out loud, but I said it internally. I said, fuck this game. I took the Ender Dragon egg and I threw it out uh, threw it out of the void and I deleted the world. But you had fun. But I had fun. And then we went over to play Wii Party and that was fun. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy to think. And I know that we uh, were going back to back in my day. Oh, well, uh, we're not saying it like uh, we're saying timeless things, right? Yeah. You know what was the craziest shit? I know we're going on a while, but you know what's the craziest shit? Hmm. So we're we're the same same thing. We're babysitting babysitting last weekend. Oh man, he goes and, and we're we're just fucking around like at my house, just looking around and stuff. And he and he pulls out a uh he's like, hey, uh, I Arthur, what's this? And he pulls out a DS cartridge for Kirby. Bruv. And I go, oh, well, you know, it's an old handheld console that we used to use, you know, to play it. It's cool, whatever. And he's like, oh, cool. Can I play it? And I go, fuck, yeah, you can play it. So I give him my DS. It's dead, right? Of course. Mm-hmm. I give, I check my second DS because I have two of them. And it's dead, of course. 
and I look for a charger. Alvin, my brother, had a charger. He had three of them. So I was like, fuck yeah, dude. What? <laughs> <laughs> so cool. So we take that, charge it up, and he's playing Kirby on my DS. And the gener- and the weird, this weird generational gap that I'm looking at be- before my eyes is like, is is like I feel like it's it, this is not real, bro. You sent me a Snapchat of this. Yeah, I did. Yeah. That's what was happening. He was just playing the DS. This kid was born in like what? Well, how, how, what would it, would it be like if he's eight right, or nine right now? I think twenty fifteen. Yeah, twenty fifteen. He's born twenty fifteen. He's playing my DS. What the fuck is going on, bro? Originally though, he was gonna play my Game Boy. But I couldn't find my Game Boy charger. So, Minecraft version, I think it was like 1.7 came out in 2015. Damn. That makes sense, because that's when I was playing Minecraft hard. That's fucking wild. Yeah. God, I feel old. <laughs> but that's that's you saying it. That's you, that's you saying you feel old. And I feel old in that sense, in, in, in other senses, like my physical senses. But I would never say I feel old when, uh, when uh, they they do when when we talk about things like what's happening now, because I do a lot of things where I say I just refuse to say the classic old things. Oh, I do it ironically, but like the oh, I remember a time when or it felt like yesterday or mm-hmm. this and that. I hate saying that because that's just like you complain about being old, but you say that shit. You're mm-hmm. admitting to it, so I don't say that. So fuck it. New Minecraft is cool. The whole caves and shit, that's cool. Fuck it. New, go ahead and play the song, Zach. New music, it's cool, Zach. I don't, fuck it. New, you know, new Disney movies are maybe cool. I don't know. Fuck new it. SpongeBob movies, they're okay. Sure, why not? I think I think if you get too locked up in, in the way the things that used to or how things used to be then you're not going to be present in the moment and it's cool to look back at things that were going on you know eight nine years ago and Mm -hmm. and just kind of look at it with like a a nice nostalgic point of view but realize that you know those times are behind us and you know you just got to make the future the best that you can Mm -hmm. well said um so yeah thank you everybody for listening to the podcast that is uneducated we appreciate the support so far. We're at 95, I think, and we're almost to the big 100. that would be a lot of fun when we get there. Um, like and subscribe. You know the jazz. All everything down below as well um, for the links and such. Um, I guess we got to bring this to the... Let's bring it to the the Kids Are Smart episode. God, that's an old episode. But we'll bring it to that one. So check that out. Check us out. And thank you so much for the support. Um, we appreciate it. We'll see you next week. And have a good one. Have a good time. Goodbye, my friends. She's really good.